today I'm taking a look at the final Funko Pop that's in the red lightsaber series, the Darth Vader. Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christopher and today I'm taking a look at the last Funko Pop from that red lightsaber series. This time it's the Darth Vader, so this guy is the last one in that series as I mentioned. And I've been waiting for GameStop to release him up here in Canada for the last, I don't know, few months now. He, it, it took forever for this guy to show up and he finally showed up last month so I picked him up while I, I was close to a GameStop there. Um, so let's take a quick look at the packaging and then we'll get him open. So the Darth Vader Red Saber Series Volume 1 Darth Vader is the same packaging as the rest of the Red Saber Series. So it's got the, the black with white color scheme going on with the red trim there. You got the... Uh, the flames in the background, um, very similar to uh, like Mustafar or whatever with the, the lava and the flames there. Um, same on the side of the box. Um, this guy is number 523 there in the series. And as I mentioned, the last in the uh, the Red Saber series, Volume 1. It's got that brand new GameStop exclusive sticker on it and the Glow in the Dark sticker as well because he does Glow in the Dark, which I will show you guys later in the video. Uh, but I'm really liking this new GameStop Canada sticker. It looks a lot better than the um, the American sticker, which is just the, the red circle with the words GameStop exclusive in it. So this is a little bit nicer sticker. Um, if you do guys, if you guys do collect in pop or in box pops, definitely try and get the uh, the GameStop Canada sticker if you can. I I, I just personally like that one better. Um, I might be a little biased though, but that's the packaging on the front. There's the side again with that lava. The back with the rest of the uh, the characters in that wave. So I did reviews on all of these. I'll leave the playlist uh, linked down below. And there's the other side of the box. And then the pop top of the box with the little window. So you can see Darth Vader if he were to keep him in the box. But let's get him out of this packaging. Let's free him from the packaging and take a closer look. Alright, so there's the Red Saber series Darth Vader out of the packaging, and I think he looks absolutely fantastic. I do like the pose on this one. You don't see a lot of Darth Vader Funko Pops with the uh, lightsaber in both his hands. I think there's maybe one other one, maybe two, but I think the majority of them have him holding his lightsaber with one hand. So I, I do really like this pose. It's very, it's a very dynamic, a very nice action pose for Darth Vader. Um, but other than that, like paint application i like how they did the uh the gloss black for the helmet and like the boots and stuff the gloves are gloss black but then the rest of his robes are kind of matte black and and even a lighter lighter shade of, of gray almost in some areas there um and then of course the, the kind of dark brown reddish brown for the lenses which i've done for the last little while on all the darth vader funko pops um but really love the pose there even the cape flowing in the wind there it just looks great um it's just an aggressive, it looks like a really aggressive pose for Darth Vader with the two hands. Like, he's he's really leaning into this lightsaber strike. He is, of course, on a, um, a base with the rock and the lava. Again, this lava is a little bit faded compared to, uh, compared to the couple of the earlier Funko Pops in, in this line, in this wave. Uh, the, the Darth Sidious, the Darth Maul, and I think the Savage Opress all had, like, the kind of glossier lava and it still glowed in the dark fine but this time they they kind of chose to go with the uh a faded matte paint for the the lava on this one and same with the dooku it was the same way i believe and uh i just these things don't get displayed in the dark so i'd rather have the gloss paint on the lava it just looks a lot sharper it looks a lot better um but i will show what that looks like glowing in the dark in a moment but Overall, this, this pop is a really, really great looking Funko Pop. He's going to look great on display with the rest of them in the in the Billy bookcases behind me there where I have the rest of them. Um, but great looking Funko Pop. I love the pose. Just the lava. I'm, I'm not a big fan of how they painted the lava, but I can look past that. 
to have this guy sitting on my shelf. So as you can see, the only things that glow in the dark on this Darth Vader Funko Pop are the orange bits of lava and his lightsaber. So that's to be expected. That's what I expected to glow. It's just like all the other glow in the dark Star Wars Funko Pops. The, uh, the lightsaber glows. The lava glows on these Red Saber series ones, and that's pretty much it. Um, sometimes you got bits like on the boss Gaming Greats Funko Pop where his visor kind of glowed a little bit, but for, for these Red Saber series, it's just the lava and it's just the red blades that glow, and it's okay. I, I could do without the glow in the dark. As I mentioned, I'm not going to be displaying these under black light or anything, so the glow in the dark is, is a bonus, but I don't really care if I... Yeah, it, it came with a glow in the dark feature, if you call it that, um, but either way, a great look. Funko Pop. Other than the lava when it's in the light, it looks a little bit faded compared to uh, the first few in this series, but I can look past that and have him sit sit on the shelf and he's, he's, he's gonna look great either way. But what do you think of the Red Saber series Volume 1 Darth Vader Star Wars Funko Pop? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then click to watch one of my other reviews. Thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you.